All right, biology students, today we are talking about lab safety symbols. We're going to walk through eight different symbols that you might see this year on a lab sheet um, as you're doing labs. And we're going to talk about what those symbols mean, what you need to do as a student if you see those symbols, uh, and then some good housekeeping practices for the lab if those symbols are, in fact, on your lab sheet. All right, so we are starting with glassware safety. So the glassware safety symbol is this uh, piece of equipment. We call this an Erlenmeyer flask. So anytime you see the Erlenmeyer flask uh, on a lab sheet, that means you're going to be working with something that is glass. So a couple of things we need to make sure that we remember when we are working with glassware. Make sure that your glassware isn't broken and it's a good practice to just always check glassware to just make sure that it's not cracked or broken. Of course, if it is, you need to let your teacher know. Uh, make sure that you never heat glassware that's not thoroughly dry. So if you had a class period before you that was using glassware and you noticed that they didn't dry their glassware, uh, and they put glassware away wet and then you come behind them and you have to heat that glassware, just make sure that it's never, you never heat it if it's wet, always dry it off. Um, use heat resistant gloves or tongs or some piece of equipment that will protect your hands if you are asked to pick up or move glassware um, that is hot. Always make sure that you clean your glassware according to your teacher's instructions and just make sure that you dry it before putting it away. And then if you ever do see the glassware safety symbol, you also need to make sure that you wear goggles. So goggles should always be worn when using any glassware. Now the next two symbols that we're going to look at are different symbols. They do mean different things, but they both have to do with um, the use of heat in the lab. So the first symbol is the fire safety symbol. Now, of course, fire is hot, so this is a heat safety symbol, but it's specifically called fire safety. This means we're going to be using an open flame in the lab. So this could be a tea light candle, a Bunsen burner. Um, it could be a match. So anytime we have an open flame, you're going to see the fire safety symbol. Now, anytime we see this hot mitt symbol or glove symbol, this is your heat safety symbol. It means you're going to be working with something that is hot or could potentially get hot um, to the point where you need to have some extra protection. So with both of these symbols, the fire safety symbol and the heat safety symbol, you need to wear goggles. Make sure that you never heat anything unless you're specifically instructed by your teacher to do so. Make sure that you don't heat anything with a closed container. Um, we know that when a container is closed and it's being heated, it builds pressure, and that pressure could potentially become a problem. Uh, never reach across a flame. So if you do have the fire safety symbol and you're working with an open flame, just make sure that you never reach across the flame. Always use some sort of equipment that will protect your hands in the event that you have to move or transport a hot object. Make sure that you always have a clean work area before you start using, um, start the lab. Uh, we don't want to catch anything on fire. And then make sure just in the event that there is an emergency and there is a fire, uh, know the location of the fire extinguisher and the fire blanket for your classroom. All right, when you see the skull and crossbones, this is our chemical safety symbol. Now, typically at home, when we see the chemical safety symbol or the skull and crossbones symbol, this means something's poisonous. Uh, and that could be the case in the science lab. However, you're going to see the skull and crossbones symbol when you're working with any chemical, whether it's toxic, poisonous, or not. Um, I even put the skull and crossbones symbol on my lab sheets when we are only working with water. Um, and this is because I teach a lot of different subjects the beakers and the test tubes that we use, the glass stir rods that we use, they often have all kinds of different chemicals in them throughout the year. Um, and it's not very likely that they are 100% clean. So that means when you use a beaker that another class period may have used sodium hydroxide in, suddenly 
If there's any remnants of that sodium hydroxide in that beaker, suddenly that beaker of water that you have in front of you becomes toxic. Um, so the skull and crossbones is just to let you know that you're working with a chemical um, and you need to make sure that you take precautions. Consider that chemical dangerous. Um, a couple of housekeeping practices when working with chemicals. Never smell chemicals directly. So if your teacher asks you to notice the odor, observe the odor, you're going to want to do what's called wafting. Um, so that's just you're going to wave the, the odor towards your, towards your nose. Never lean over and smell directly. Um, never mix chemicals unless instructed to do so. That is very dangerous. Um, never touch or taste chemicals unless instructed to do so. Uh, and I can't think of a time where you'll be asked to use our lab equipment to taste anything. Um, so just make sure that you don't do that. Keep all lids closed when chemicals are not in use. We chemicals are very expensive. Most of them are. We don't want to. We don't want to waste them. So we don't want any accidents to happen where chemicals to get knocked over. Um, so just make sure that you put the lids back on things when chemicals aren't in use. Dispose of chemicals as instructed by your teacher depending on what class you're in or what lab you are doing. Um, some chemicals can't just be poured down the drain or they can't just be thrown in the trash. So your teacher will let you know specifically how you need to dispose of chemicals. If you get any chemicals on your skin or clothes that your teacher has deemed as um, something that's concerning, make sure that you immediately rinse those chemicals off with water uh, and then notify your teacher immediately and they will give you steps for what to do after that, um, after that notification. Uh, make sure that you know the location of the shower and eye wash station if you are in the classroom. All right, when you see the goggle symbol, this means you have to wear safety goggles. This is our eye and face safety symbol. Um, it just means that you might be working with glass, you might be working with a chemical, you might be working with heat, and there is something that could potentially get in your eye uh, and cause all kinds of problems. So when you see this symbol, it means you've got to wear safety goggles in the lab. All right, sharp instrument safety. This means you're going to be working with something that is sharp and there are special rules um, that you need to make sure that you follow whether you're using a scalpel or a dissecting needle or a probe, um, you need to just make sure that you handle sharp objects with care. If you're asked to cut material, always cut materials away from you, never towards you. And then, of course, if you get cut, notify your teacher immediately. Electrical safety, there are times when we're going to have to plug in appliances and use them. Just make sure that you know electricity and water, they don't mix well. Uh, so just make sure that you never touch an electrical appliance or outlet with wet hands. Try your best to keep large amounts of liquids away from appliances and outlets. Don't plug more than one, uh, more than two appliances in at any one outlet. This could cause a fire. Um, also, please do not, this is not on the screen, but please do not break off your pencil points in the electrical outlets. <laughs> All right, our last symbol is our animal safety symbol. Um, this actually applies to live animals in the classroom, but also to specimens that we might be um, dissecting or looking at under the microscope. So just never cause pain or injury or do anything unethical to an animal or a specimen. Um, that includes inhumane stunts and actions. Make sure after you touch a specimen or a live animal that you wash your hands thoroughly. And then we're going to do a quick review. I'm going to go through each of the symbols and you just tell me what that symbol is, starting with this one. Hopefully you said eye safety. This just means you have to wear your goggles. This is our animal safety symbol. Hopefully you said this is electrical safety. Now this symbol looks a little different than the symbol that I had earlier, but sometimes you see the razor blade symbol in the place of the pricked finger symbol. Both of these mean sharp instrument safety. Okay, this is our heat safety symbol. 
Please note, this does not mean you have to wear gloves. This means that you are working with something that is hot or could potentially get hot, and you just need to make sure that you use precautions um, for objects that are hot. All right, this is our chemical safety symbol. It doesn't necessarily mean we're working with something that's toxic, but the chemical should be treated as such. And then our final one is the glassware safety symbol. So this just means we're going to be working with glassware. You have to wear goggles and you just have to make sure that you're careful not to use glassware that's broken or that you deem unsafe. All right, I will see you in the next lesson.